Hi, Claude Palantir, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be video number two on how to sign up with the Bing Webmaster Toolbox and more specifically, how to verify your site. So remember, when you go to Bing, you have to sign up and sign into your account. I'm signed in. You'll get an account by uh, st uh, creating a Hotmail email account and then you can go from there. It's, just a, it's very similar to Google where you create a Google uh, account by starting with uh, Gmail and then you can go from there. So anyway, so now we're into our account. We come over to the Bing toolbox. And if you recall, in, in video one, we submitted a site to Bing and then we submitted a site map to Bing. Now we want to verify. We want to add a site to the account and verify that site so that the tool can uh, index it, crawl it, and index it and get it the data we want. So we click on Signing in, it'll start loading in the uh, work area. We come to this, and uh, you let's get rid of this. Technically, you would come to this. The, the site that you're interested in would not be there. You click Add Site, and you go with WP Trainer Site dot info, and you want to. Oops, let's make sure we get we get it. There we go. So we submit. It wants to, it's going to try to verify, but it, there's nothing there to verify because we haven't uh, loaded in what, they're asked, what they need. Now, you're going to get two options. One is to place an XML file on your web server. The other one is to copy and paste a meta tag. I selected this, and I'm going to show you how to do this. You click it, and it's going to come down here and give you four instructions. One is to download the Bing site authority.xml file. So all you got to do is click on this link and download it. Now, get it onto your desktop. That's the easiest way to work with it. Okay, so I already did that. If you click this, it'll say download. In my case, I can go, you know, download to desk desktop. And, uh, you know, you click save, and then it'll go right to your desktop. Okay, then you want to upload that file via using a file transfer protocol, and you want to get that into your web server in the file for your website. And then once you've done that, you're going to uh, verify this URL by putting it into your browser address bar and then it'll come back with a verification code and then you're going to come back to this and click verify. So let's see how you do it. First thing we want to do is you want to go to your web server, your web host, and locate <clears throat> There's the website, webptrainersite.info file. I'm going to come over to my desktop. There's the file, the Bing site authority.xml. I'm just going to take that and drag it into the file for the website. And I'm done. I've done what I've had to do. So it's in. Now I'm going to take this URL here website trainer.info forward slash bing site authority.xml and put that into here. So let's go to WP trainer site dot info forward slash bing site authority.xml Hit return. It gives me a verification code. So I'll, I know that it's in there correctly. So the next thing I do is come back to this screen and click verify. It's going to verify the site. And now it gives me to this dashboard here. And I can see that my site is now appears in this box, which tells me it has been verified. There's no data available because the site hasn't been crawled or indexed. But that is how you set up and verify your website in the dashboard area of the Bing Toolbox. So just to recap, we came into the home area for the toolbox. Let's, let me get to it. We clicked in the sign in to use Webmaster Tools. We added a site. We then went in and add, downloaded the XML file. We put that into the folder in our web server 
for that website. And then we clicked return. It gave us a verification code. We came back in and we verified the site. That's it. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.